Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac, and today I'm going to be talking about why I dropped out of university. Um, I know that's kind of like a clickbaity title, but it's honestly what happened. I dropped out of university. It was my first year out of high school. I went to university. Um, I wasn't really expecting, like it wasn't a given for me to go to university because a lot of my friends actually didn't go to university. Um, my parents encouraged me to go for one year, and that's what I did. So I enrolled in a private um, Christian university, um, and I went. And it wasn't a super, you know, being homeschooled, I was homeschooled for my whole life. And so when I graduated, it was kind of intimidating walking into this university with professors, with doing, you know, essays and all this kind of stuff. I honestly didn't write a lot of essays in high school or school at all. Um, I wrote a lot, a lot of blog posts, which was a, a lot of my high school writing was just writing blog posts for my website. And so when I entered university, I was like, oh, this is going to be bad. But honestly, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Um, but ultimately, later on, as, as time went on, I began to notice some things that were kind of disappointing to me. Um, number one, the Bible wasn't taken seriously. And this is something I want you guys to really take a hold of as you're evaluating what kind of university you want to go to. And, you know, obviously it depends on, you know, what kind of uh, vocation you're going to. If you're going into math, maybe it's not going to be as big deal. But if you're going into like theology and your school doesn't take the Bible seriously, doesn't take it um, literally in the places that it needs to take literally and obviously like... It, so it's a tough thing that I began to notice that, hey, wait a minute, we're just kind of taking bits and pieces here that we like, that conform to kind of our overall agenda as opposed to taking what the Bible says and actually let it change us and change how we do education and change how we, you know, approach different topics. And to be honest, that was a big thing that I began to just be frustrated by it was a frustrate it was a frustration that was built over time and this kind of idea that there was no counter to this um, liberal theology is what I would call it this theology of not taking you know creation seriously not taking Jesus word seriously and really just kind of using the Bible as kind of you know we'll, we'll flip to it every once in a while and that was really frustrating for me because part of the reason I wanted to go to university was not only to, you know, help build skills in looking towards a career, but also to grow in my faith as a disciple. And I, w I just wasn't getting it. I just wasn't getting it. So that kind of led to a number of discussions with my parents of just saying, hey, okay, I need to drop out of university. And this was after the first semester. So I was just like, I need to drop out of university. I got this big plan. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to start making videos on YouTube. I'm going to start a website. And because that is what I'm called to do. That's what I'm supposed to do. And my parents were like, okay, okay. But I think you should stay one more semester. One more semester just to see. And I was like, oh, come on. I just want to. And I, I really respect my parents' perspective on things. So I was like, okay, you know what? <sighs> Go one more semester. And honestly, in that semester, I'm glad I went back because it just reaffirmed my perspective that it is so important in the school you're going to, if you're going for something, honestly, I would say anything liberal arts because theology matters, right? Your worldview, how you see the world affects how you receive information from anybody. So a philosophy professor that is an atheist, they're going to see things very differently from a Christian philosophy professor and obviously I'm not saying oh don't listen to what anybody with different opinions from you um, don't listen to them because it'll just be bad and only stay in your own opinion circle obviously you hear others opinions but I'm saying when it comes to down it comes down to getting the meat how when you're gonna grow not when you're on the battlefield when you're you know talking to different people about different philosophies and when you're defending the faith and using apologetics and that kind of thing but I'm talking about oh wait when you actually want to grow in your faith as a disciple to Christ are they gonna be able to help you do that and honestly if they don't take the Word of God seriously or regard it at all 
it's not going to be good. So after the second semester, I decided I was going to leave university. And that was near the time that my mom um, found out she had breast cancer. So I was uh, kind of reaffirmed my decision to step away from university and begin daily disciple ministry. And so what I've been doing for the last year or so is helping out with the family and making videos online, working part time and writing a book, <laughs> which which you'll you'll find out about later if you haven't already heard about it. Um, but yeah, I think I think going to university is a really tough thing because um, there's so many variables into it. I could get in the whole discussion of is a college degree um, valuable anymore and all that, but I don't think that's that's not really what this channel is about. I want to really focus more on on the importance of education. So, so I think too often we get in this space of I need to I need somebody to teach me these things, right? I need somebody to tell me all the stuff I need to know, and there's only certain venues I can do that. So university, college, that kind of thing. So, so often we want people to teach us, but actually what we just need to do is sit down and learn. God has given us his word that we're able to just, you know, pour into and that we can learn from. If you're interested in theology, study God's word. Obviously, get books. There's nothing wrong with going to university, right? There's nothing wrong with going to a good university that that you are, you know, the trusted people there that you want to just be able to grow um, from their teaching and all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. That's great. But I don't want us to shut off our minds like everything we receive is going to be good and helpful to us. Because for me, my university experience sure, certainly wasn't. Certainly wasn't. I need to stay on my toes. And I'm just encouraging you to stay on your toes as well. And be attentive to people's worldviews because it's going to impact how they see the world. If they don't believe in God, hmm. What do they believe about morality? Do they believe there's right and wrong? What do, they, what do they believe about absolute truth? You know, do they believe there's um, absolute, tr you can know things for certain, or is everything just um, a matter of opinion, right? These things play into um, a lot of different subjects, right? So I just want to be, you to be cautious and going to universities, you're evaluating, because I know there's a lot of you right now that are thinking, oh, maybe I should go to university. I'm not sure which one. And if you're planning on going to secular university, I just want to prepare you and let, get you prepared that you're going into a place that is going to be hostile to what you believe, right? It's going to be hostile to what the Bible teaches, right? You're not going to be loved for speaking truth, right? But that's why we're called to speak truth in love speak truth in love and that's the one thing that honestly i'm glad i went to university for was the conversations that i had with many students there about god and yeah it was a christian university but a lot of the conversations i had about god just bringing people to his truth and just being able to share with them um, the hope of jesus it made it worth it and that's why I don't think God wasted my time there, but I also believe there's a time when God calls you out of something you once knew into something new. It was that idea of comfort and staying in university was comfortable because when you kind of, people are like, what are you up to? You're just like, hey, I'm in university. No further questions. Maybe they're asking what your major is, but really the interrogation stops there. That's comfortable. That's comfortable. But God was calling me out of comfort into something that he had called me to something greater for him, for him. It wasn't about me, but it was about stepping into courage, stepping into courage. And I think we need some more of that. We need some more of that idea of kind of dying to ourselves, like Jesus said, right? Dying to yourself and following me, being courageous. And that's what I try to do. I try to follow him. I'm still figuring it out. I don't know what I'm doing. But I do know when God has called you out of something, you got to courageously step into it. Um, that's kind of my story on why I dropped out of university. Uh, obviously, 
if you had a different university experience, I'm not speaking about all universities. My experience is specific to me, but if you got anything from it, um, I'm glad, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.